interesting to, to click on this video to start watching it. I'm recording this video for... to uh, click to start watching this video. I hope that you stay watching some of it or all of it, but that is obviously completely your choice. Uh, it can be absolutely rock solid. The number of times when I'm uh, watching YouTube and like, going like watching Netflix, uh, it can be absolutely rock solid. The number of times when I'm at whatever time of day, it's not about the time of day, it can be at 12 o'clock at night. If I'm doing a video call, talking to either another Christian or talking to someone who isn't a Christian, sharing um, really important things about God's love for all of us. Um, the number of times my Wi-Fi signal breaks off, it just stops, it just, uh, the router starts flashing for no Oh, oh my, I think we're back on, we're back on. It's back on blue, it's back on blue. We're all right, it's back on, back on, but is it gonna go off again? This is just making me laugh. Oh my, if, if ever if ever I wanted to know that the enemy does not want me to this live video sharing what happened this morning, this um, this last 20 minutes is uh, just makes me laugh because I'm recording this come what may, whether I have to do it over three videos or whenever. So yeah, uh, Wi-Fi signal, barring that uh, being disrupted once again. Um, to get up to speed of where I got up to the last video, so... Um, uh, Ramit, um, who became an incredible Christian friend, who was already a business associate um, about 12 years ago, 12 months ago, became an incredible Christian friend and led me, helped and guided me into faith uh, on a very kind of profound level with his incredible wisdom. Um, we've seen his church a few times down in Walton on Thames and then lockdown decided to do um, a Zoom um, session, like maybe twice a week to get a few people together on a WhatsApp group to do a bit of um, teaching, a bit of reading God's word, a bit of worship, prayer. Uh, that very quickly went into six days, um, six days a week, Monday to Saturday, because it was so popular. There's pastors around the world that speak on their um, incredible teachings, people that have never taught before God's word, uh, but they're incredible Christians. So praise the Lord for that. So this morning I was, um, um, it's at 11 o'clock each day, you know, I've, I've probably watched about half of these sessions in the last two months because of working around the kids and um, working around at work and things like that. So this morning, um, I, I didn't have the girls, slept in, woke up at seven, went back to sleep, woke up about quarter to 10, um, a minute, I checked the phone, uh, expected the girls to be home, usually between half, about nine, half nine, but it's flexible, it's fine. Um, quarter to 10, the girls still weren't here. Um, I just so I checked my clock, I just woke up, I'd had um, a bit of a late night, so I just had a nice lie in. Um, a minute after waking up, I heard uh, someone running across the gravel outside and it's a girl's home. So they came in, they wanted to um, have, um, uh, yeah, Sophia wanted to get some breakfast, uh, Amelia wanted to give me, uh, wanted to cuddle me in bed. And um, I just, um, yeah, I, I just kind of went with the flow. So I went upstairs with Amelia first because you could see I was in my boxer shot. So I only just got out of bed. So we just had a bit of a cuddle in bed and she wanted to stay with me, cuddle me, keep cuddling me, daddy, keep cuddling me, daddy. Beautiful few few minutes with with, uh, with Amelia. So this was about 10 o'clock, five to 10. But I just kind of knew in my spirit that, no, I need to go and have a shower. It's time to go and have a shower now. Um, so yeah, I, I said to Amelia, I said, oh, I'm going to go and have a shower now. But she said, no, daddy, no, cuddles. And I cuddled her a bit more. And then I said, no, no. And I just knew in, in the spirit, by the Holy Spirit, was giving me conviction to go and have a shower. This was like now 10 o'clock. All the girls needed to have a shower. I wasn't thinking about um, the, um, I wasn't thinking about the, the 11 o'clock Zoom session um, at this time. Um, I normally just wait to be led by the spirit in the morning about should I watch it? You know, can I work it around the girls? Is it a message that I feel, or is the Holy Spirit telling me this is a message that you, that, that you need to hear? Uh, they're all recorded anyway, but you know, watching it live is, um, is, is, is really important and it, it has been. Um, so at this stage, 10 o'clock, I wasn't thinking about the Zoom meeting. Um, I had a shower. Um, all the girls had a shower, um, and by this time, um, I think we were, fin we were finishing up in, in the bedroom. Uh, well, I didn't, I wasn't looking at the time. And then I was just led by the Holy Spirit to just get my phone out, to go onto WhatsApp, to look at who the teaching is today, who, who's doing the teaching, because it's a different teacher every day. Some teachers might teach once a week. And I, I was just led by the Spirit to look at my phone, look on WhatsApp, to see what Rami put on about who's speaking today, who's teaching. And, um, and who was teaching today? I looked at my title, this was two minutes to 11 that I'd just been led to look at WhatsApp group. And it's, um, and it's a married couple. They're an, they're an incredible, um, 
They've, they're incredible. They've got incredible wisdom to share. Um, they've, they've shared on a few other sessions in the last month or two. And, and they mean a lot to me and they've helped me a lot. They've, um, they've, they've done some incredible prayers for me and my family, uh, my, my entire family, my broader family. So I knew in my spirit that, yeah, I need to watch this. So I suddenly just said to the girls, it was two minutes to 11, right girls, um, you know, finish getting ready, you know, get changed and stuff. I'm just, I'm going to go and do the, the, the Zoom call today. I'm, I'm doing it this morning. So I came downstairs, plugged the laptop into the TV, which I don't normally do. Um, so I joined the Zoom call about two minutes, three minutes past 11. So there was a worship song playing. So um, did a, you know, did a worship song first of all, um, singing a bit of that. And then um, someone, I think someone opened in prayer um, for, you know, to set the scene for for the session, for the teachings, and for us all to be um, filled with the Holy Spirit. Um, so, and then, and then Stella and Michael um, started. I was sat down on the couch watching, and um, the the couple who were teaching, uh, who were going to teach, they, um, they they started to teach. And at the start of it, they said that um, we're going to be we're going to be focused today on uh, Chronicles and um, let me just get it right. Chronicles and Nehemiah from, from the Old Testament. Now, a little voice came in my head just at that moment as I was sat on the couch, having just heard that we we're going to look in the Old Testament. And that little voice that came into my head said to me, oh, it's the Old Testament, Paul. It's, um, you, you get a lot more out of the New Testament. It's probably, you know, oh, it's probably not going to be too good a message today. And maybe just like check emails a bit and just you know just do a few other things while you're on the video call it's probably not going to be an important message so that little voice came in so i started to listen to the the teaching and it was from the old testament from chronicles and and it's not stories i've necessarily heard before but i wasn't um that that same voice was continuing to just keep chipping away at me saying like oh this is it's not really for you this is no it's not it's not, it's not really a message for you. Um, and then praise God. Praise God for the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit came over me. It was probably already already upon me, but it gave me the conviction. And, and, God, and God spoke to me this time. Not the enemy. God spoke to me and said, no, Paul, you need to. No, I want you to watch. It's an important message. I want you to listen to this message. Pay attention to it. Don't get distracted. Just pay attention to this message. So I started to properly pay attention to the message. And as the teaching carried on, um, it moved from one, um, you know, one of, one, of the, one of the couple to the other. And, and they started to talk about um, Nehemiah. So I turned to Nehemiah um, in, hang on, in my Bible, Nehemiah 727. God will fight evil for you. That's on page 733. I got to here, 727. Is that still working? Nehemiah. So I'm just going to read this out because as, as the teaching was starting about showing a story from Nehemiah, um, I, read, I just read the intro to this book from this uh, amplified version of the Bible. And the, and the life principles for this story, for the book of Nehemiah, is that God wants to repair every broken thing in your life and restore everything that has been lost the enemy's resistance should be an encouragement i'm smiling when i say this my word has the enemy not wanted me to do this facebook live video the enemy's resistance should be an encouragement that god is doing something significant in your life because he does not oppose anything that does not threaten him the enemy will oppose restoration in your life but be like Nehemiah and stay focused and prayerful. You will overcome. So then it talks a bit more about the book here. The book of Nehemiah is a story of a man who had a burden from God to rebuild the walls of the ruined city of Jerusalem. It is also the story of people who came together for a common purpose, worked and prayed in unity, resisted their enemies, responded to Nehemiah's good leadership, achieved their goal, celebrated their victory, enjoyed the rewards of their labours and experienced spirit. Oh, I think I'm back on. I'm back on. I'm back on. No, not yet. I'm still just doing a, a Facebook video sharing about God's miracles, signs and wonders okay, and talking really about the work of the enemy. I'm hungry. Right, okay, so I'll do a bit of food. Um, so, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm laughing. I'm laughing as I was reading that because uh, Nehemiah, because... 
<laughs> when, um, as a leader, Nehemiah stayed focused on the assignment, steadfastly refusing to be distracted or discouraged, even in the, in the midst of intense mocking and persecution of all kinds of resistance. Just as Nehemiah's enemies were relentless in their various efforts to stop the rebuilding of Jerusalem's walls, the devil will use multiple strategies as he repeatedly tries to thwart the restoration and rebuilding God wants to do in your life. The enemy does not oppose anything that does not threaten him. So let his resistance be a sign that God is indeed doing a great work in you. Hang on, sweetie. I know I'm going to get you some more watermelon. Be like Nehemiah. Fight back with frequent, fervent prayer and with increased diligence as you partner with God to bring his purposes to, to pass in you. So, um, yeah, anyway, I, I don't know if this Wi-Fi signal is going to go off again. This is just making me laugh. This is, um, if I wasn't doing this Facebook Live video now, talking about God's miracles and the Holy Spirit, this signal would not be going off. Um, so, yeah, it's probably going to go off again. If it does, it might pause and then I'll wait for it to come back on. If it if it goes off again, I'll just start a new video because whatever, whatever happens, I'm I'm sharing what's happened this morning. So so to carry on, um, so Nehemiah, and as I knew, as I was reading Nehemiah today, because that's what the teaching was on, for a for a, a Zoom session that only a minute before it started, I wasn't even thinking about this uh, to take part in this Zoom session. The story of Nehemiah, as I was reading that, God God was just speaking to me. And God was just speaking to me and saying, Paul, this is, this is what's been happening. This is what's been going on. This is what you're doing. This is what you're going through. This is what the enemy's doing. It's distraction. It's persecution. It's ridicule. It's complete and utter restoration. Oh, it's back. Back. I've just been praying. It's good. We're back. I, don't, I, I thought it was going to drop off again. The Wi-Fi signal is back. We're back on blue. We're okay for now. But I keep getting distracted, I keep getting disrupted, but I'm going to do this Facebook Live video, what, what, come what may. If I, need to, um, if I need to do another recording, I will. So um, hopefully, you've, if you've watched some of the other, um, we've been talk, I'm talking about Nehemiah. So I was led to, uh, this is, the teaching was on Nehemiah today. Um, as I was reading all this, it was very clear and God was speaking to me that this is what's been happening in my life, the persecution, the um, all kinds of resistance, you're crazy, you've, you've got bipolar, um, stop being so evangelical and, um, and, and praise God. God's calling for me is for me to be evangelical, to share that God loves you. God loves you. Jesus loves you. And may the whole Holy Spirit come upon you. I give you all the glory, Father. Thank you. So, so yeah, is God real? Is, is the Holy Spirit real? Is the enemy real? So, um, so I, was, what, I was reading, I was listening to this teaching on Nehemiah. I was reading this. He was speaking to me directly. And then as the teaching carried on, there was a passage that came over me from the Bible. And it's a passage which is from 2 Chronicles 20, verse 17. And it's a passage that I'd looked at last night. It was about 12 o'clock last night, half, half 12 last night. Um, it was in my, it was in the kitchen where I am at the moment. And, um, and it was currently, it wasn't up on the wall. We've got a lot, I've got a lot of family photos and scriptures up on the wall. All God's words and God's promises over our life as we come up against absolute utter resistance because um, I'm the only Christian currently in my entire family and in my wife's entire family. So uh, there's, 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 there's resistance all around. So this is, this is a house of, this is God's house. And, um, and so this passage from two Chronicles um, that wasn't up on the wall last night, I decided to put it up on the wall and I put it up in the middle of the kitchen where I am at the moment on this, um, on here. And I put it up there and, um, and this scripture says, but you will not even need to fight Take your positions, then stand still and watch the Lord's victory. He is with you, all people of Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid or discouraged. Go out against them tomorrow, for the Lord is with you. And so this is all for, um, for those who, who are in faith. This is, uh, this, is, this is all about in the spiritual realm because um, we don't I, I don't... I don't fight flesh and blood. I don't come up. I, that, that's, how, that's, how, that's how bad things come out in, by people's words, actions and behaviour. But this is, this is a spiritual warfare. This is spiritual warfare and the Holy Spirit is real. Um, the enemy, the spirit of the enemy, trying to, trying to influence us, our thoughts, trying to influence people around us. Um, the, the enemy is real. The enemy is real and the Holy Spirit is, is real. The Holy Spirit can come upon us. 
and it does come upon us and it was coming upon me as I was listening to this teaching in Nehemiah and it came upon me um, this morning thinking about this piece of scripture from 2 Chronicles so I, I just I got up from the front room and I was just about to go to um, um, to come into the kitchen <laughs> It's going again. I don't know. The, the signal's just going off and on. My Wi-Fi signal. This is just making me laugh. This is making me laugh. It's still on. We're on blue. We're all right. Bit of pizza cake. Bit of blue for the dads. We're all right. We're okay. So I was going. I was watching this teaching, and this this piece of scripture came over me, and I and I stood up from the front room, and I was just about to walk into the kitchen to get this scripture off the wall, this photograph, and then hold it up when I share, um, when we do a kind of what's called like Zoom the Room, where we all share our thoughts and experiences. And, um, and so, but just as I stood up with that, with that photograph in mind that I only put up on, that I only put up on the wall last night, at that very moment, I was just about to come into the kitchen to go and get this photograph. The, the incredible, brother in Christ who was reading um, these stories and scriptures and, and giving us teachings from Nehemiah and from Chronicles, just at the moment, I was just about to come into the um, kitchen, he read that scripture out. <laughs> just at the time, I was just about to do it. Obviously, he didn't know that. I didn't know what he was going to read. And it's just, once more, it's just beautiful perfection. So... Um, so yeah, I kind of I, I knew this um, I knew this um, teaching was absolutely for me, and then um, the Holy Spirit was was upon me was was just on, on upon the people that were there, you know the distraction of the enemy to to take me away from from listening to this teaching to to discourage me to say that oh the Old Testament is not. You're not going to learn anything from that. Just, just do, just go onto your, you know, just go onto your emails, sort your emails out, go onto Slack. All that was going on. Um, whilst uh, before, I the Holy Spirit really gave me the wisdom and discernment that no, this is a teaching for you. And the Holy Spirit made ensured that I listened to the teaching. I therefore listened to the story about Nehemiah, and then this happened with this piece of scripture. But then. It's uh, kind of what happened at the end um, after we kind of did a Zoom the room and people talked about how the Holy Spirit has been working in their life and some of the some of the testimonies that people had and some of the ways in which um, God is moving in their life. And it, it's, uh, it's beautiful. And this is the same God that loves you, the same God that loves me, that loves all of us. Um, Jesus Christ that loves you no matter what you've done. Praise God. Um, no one, none of us are special. We've all sinned. I'm not special. I'm just sharing this because God's put this on my heart and the Holy Spirit is leading me to do these Facebook Live videos. So um, I shared on the very first video, but you won't have seen it on this one, that when Rami first got in touch with me, which was 12 months ago, having not had... I'm just going to find his text message. So the, the first video I did, which isn't on this video because um, because the Wi-Fi signal stopped. <laughs> so um, I, I couldn't carry on with the, with the with the live broadcast. So it's on the previous video. But I shared that a year ago, almost to the day, um, I, I put an update on Facebook because I'd seen the Samaritan's post, it's okay not to be okay, posted about my, the, my battle with mental turmoil and under discovering the, what I thought at the time was the most profound and important book in the world, The Power of Now, which I realise now isn't because there's only one book that is the most important book in the world and it's the Holy Bible. It's, it's the truth. It sets you free. And um, so, uh, and yeah, I've got these books. I've got these books here. I've actually tried all sorts of books uh, in the past. Anxiety Toolkit, The Chimp Paradox, The Power of Now, Chicken Soup for the Soul, The Power of Positivity. All right, I'll get you some blue crisps. So, um... So yeah, a year ago I sent this message. Um, I did this Facebook update. The signal might go off now. Thank you for, oh, I'm back. I'm back, I'm just laughing. I'm just laughing at the disruption. This is wild. I've, I've, never, I've never seen as much, since coming into faith, since sharing my faith, since sharing miracles, since speaking to, since, since speaking to Christians and other non-Christians and sharing God's miracles and God's love. I've never experienced this, this much disruption. <laughs> it's just, oh, if this isn't real, then what is, never mind the story that I'm sharing, but um, what's going on with our Wi-Fi signal? Um, so anyway, um, 
So ram it, yeah. So I sent this message twelve months ago, um, and it was all I was talking about the power of now and how important the book is, and it's like a gift. It's a gift that I want to pass on to anyone um, because I've discovered it, and it's about spiritual enlightenment. And um, so I sent this post on Facebook, and then um, and then an hour later, Ramis sent me this message. So. On the 11th of June, 2019, I'll just, I'll just repeat it again now. I, I've not spoken to Rami. I've not had a, like, a relationship with him for probably about 10 years. So an hour after I've put this Facebook update, 11th of June, he put, hi, Paul, hope you're doing well. I just read your post on Facebook, mate. So many things have taken place since we last met. I have gone from no faith to total faith. I'm actually a church leader in a church called Cornerstone the Church in Walton on Thames. Sorry. My testimony is up on the website. If you want to take a look, always remember you are loved by your Father in heaven and let his love flow through you and immerse your family and friends. Agape, agape Rami. I didn't know what agape meant. I'd not had a message like that from anyone before because at the time, a year ago, there was no Christians in my family, in my wife's family, across our friends. Well, well certainly no, certainly no kind of practising or, or, or Christians are, are, are kind of speaking, are speaking into our life at that moment and certainly no, no family members. And uh, I didn't even know what agape meant. Uh, agape is God's, God's love, the love of God, which is deeper and broader than anything that we could ever, ever... Um, experience but we can experience as much of it as that we that we open our hearts and minds to so alongside sharing that message which I went on to speak to him and I went on to ask um, Rami um, when we had this incredible two-hour phone call where he shared all about God's love and the work of Jesus on the cross and about we live in a fallen world we're full of sin and the work of the enemy and Satan and uh, and I just believed every single word of it um, because it's the truth and I've come to learn and realise the truth. And so I asked Rami on that call, would he be someone that I can turn to support as a bit of a mentor? I said, absolutely, without a second hesitation and praise God for everything that Rami has given me, the wisdom, him and his family. They're an incredible family. So when he sent this message, um, alongside that message, he sent this song. Um, and it's a song and I played, it's a YouTube video um, called Spontaneous worship healer of my heart and it's from um it's a spontaneous worship um, performance by um a, a prophet jerome fernando who i'd never heard of before i've never seen before um but i, I was watching it and and the, i was listening to it and it was speaking to me um you know I, I, in my heart i was feeling a the holy spirit was clearly coming upon me um, and it was it was connecting me to to this video and to the message and to what Rami was sharing with me. So that was a year ago, almost a year ago, eleventh of June, two thousand nineteen. So today, at the end of this Zoom call, that God God's plan for me was to watch this Zoom call, to be a part of this Zoom call, to be a part of this teaching about Nehemiah. And um, but. The enemy was doing anything and everything to distract me and take me away from watching the session or to not taking the session in, to not concentrating on the session. But I did. The Holy Spirit was upon me and I did. Um, we finished with um, someone closed out, I think, in a prayer. And then we finished with um, there's always a, a worship song played at the end. And uh, it's, it's sometimes it's worship songs I've heard of. Sometimes it's worship songs I've not heard of before that, um, that, that are often really beautiful and very profound. And it's usually Rami that plays the worship song. He, he shares his screen on the Zoom call and he plays a song. And um, I'm just going to log on to my laptop. I'm just going to bring up the song that Rami played. <laughs> if my um, <laughs> if my Wi-Fi on my laptop works at the moment, it's just spinning round anti-clockwise. <laughs> okay, I think what I'll do because my laptop's not playing ball, it's just spinning round. It's just spinning, spinning, spinning round. What I'm going to do, I'll play the song that Rami played at the end of the, the Zoom session today. But I'll play it on another device. If the Wi-Fi works.
I'm just currently on my um, on my other phone on YouTube, trying to play this video. <laughs> oh, rotate your phone. It's back on. I'm just, come on, YouTube. Come on, come on, Wi-Fi signal. Come on, come on, Wi-Fi. <laughs> I just want to play a song. It's got a Wi-Fi bars on. It's just um, it's just not playing. It's just not playing. It's not playing ball. <laughs> Wi-Fi is not playing ball. So I'll go on. I don't know what. Well, I know what sort of signal. <laughs> what? Son? What? <laughs> I don't know what's happening with my phone. <laughs> oh. Praise God. Praise God. This song is. This song is going to be played. In the name of Jesus Christ, this song will be played. Before, before I play the song, um, you might want to have a guess. At the song, the song that Rami chose to play at the end of today's worship session, of all the worship songs in the world that, that he could play, of all the ones that I've, I've heard of before or that I've not heard of before. He could have chosen any song. Rami didn't know what the teaching was going to be about because it's led by the Spirit. He just, you know, people come in and, and they just share what's on the heart, what, what the Holy Spirit has given them. Did, Rami didn't know if I was going to be on the, um, on the Zoom call because I'm on probably like 50% of the Zoom calls as I work around my work and, and the girls and things like that. And um, my Wi-Fi is... So the Wi-Fi is working on this Facebook Live video, so this is good. Oh, we've got this back on. I've got my laptop back on. Um, just bringing the song up which Rami chose to play um, he, Rami chose to play this this song at the end of today's worship um, at the daily worship song oh. phone's ringing phone's ringing distraction I don't know who that is no seals distraction I don't need any of that distraction okay so I can now my, my laptop's working the Wi-Fi's working so I can now play the song that um, well, in fact, no, what I'll do first. I'll just play a bit of this. So this is uh, my phone from eleventh of June two thousand and nineteen. Rami's message to me. I've not spoken to Rami in ten years. Probably not properly anyway. I've not had a, a like relationship with him, and he. Oh, it's not going to work. Wi-Fi signal is going off again. Wi-Fi signal's going off again. It's back on. It's back on this phone that I'm holding. I'm live still. But this phone, it's not working. Okay, so what I'll do at this point, praise God. So the song that Rami sent me, 11th of June last year, nearly 12 months ago, alongside this message, was Spontaneous Worship Healer of My Heart. The song that Rami played today at the end of the worship session was this. Healer of my heart, healer of my soul, stretch forth now your hand and take complete control. Healer of my heart, healer of my mind, stretch forth now your hand and take complete control. Healer of my heart, healer of my soul, stretch forth now your hand and take complete control.
God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. 